60 years ago. I, I assume that not every one of us watching this program today was able to, uh, is able to remember what happened 50 years ago. Um, I can't remember the start of the war, but throughout my life, as you have in yours, whether you remember the beginning or whether you remember the end or whether it's all just a history book for you, um, the impact of World War II, the war in the Pacific, the way it began, is all, um, it's all very poignant, very touching very impactful on who we are as a nation, as a people, and I think as individuals probably as well. <clears throat> as I watch this program and watch these men wipe the tears from their eyes over an event that happened 50 years ago, um, I thought of the emotional baggage that all peoples that go to war carry after that. Um, I think of the men and women who went to Vietnam and came back with the nightmares and the trauma and the personal tragedies that that, that has given to them. And the people from Korea who were so hidden and uh, not allowed to be, were not allowed to know, I guess, as a nation, the, the struggles they had. Maybe as a world, we someday can come to the point to realize that war doesn't really solve anything um, and hope that there will come a time when we don't have to fight. We wished we didn't have to against Iraq, and a year ago that preparation was underway. I don't know what this program has meant to you. Um, this year, this 50th anniversary celebration is quite poignant. Uh, I was touched by uh, the Charlie Lamb column in the paper this morning. I've seen some of the network commentaries. We had hoped to be able to get together with the... Uh, with the local survivors of Pearl Harbor here in the Yakima Valley, unable to put that together. But this is, gives you an experience through the newsreel footage and through the experiences of the people that were there. To know again one of those uh, moments of history that are so very poignant, so very touching. I remember very clearly the day that World War II in the Pacific, the World War in the Pacific was over. Much celebration began, but I was called quickly into the house we had not long before that, my mother and I, been to visit an uncle who had been severely wounded on one of the Pacific uh, activities. And my mother said, too many people have been hurt, too many people have died. This is not a time for cheering, it's a time for quiet reflection. As you're having your quiet reflection thinking about the Pearl Harbor event, the events that followed it, Maybe it's time that you would call the station that has given this program to you. KYVE is pleased to always be involved in the major activities that are going on to try to give you better understanding, better backgrounding, better remembering, better projections. And it's now time for you to help us pay those bills. We need it. We would appreciate it. Do it in honor of the fact today, if you would, that we've brought you this remembrance of, uh, of the beginning of World War II. Not as a celebration. Far be it from that, but as a history lesson. And would you, for the history that it's brought you, help us to be able to continue doing that over the next years by calling in your pledge today. Your pledge today doesn't guarantee next week's programming as much as it does a year from now, but that's what we have to have. We have to have them now to know what we can do for next year. One call has come in. Would you call us now and make it two? We need to get this going so much to pay for wonderful programs like this and an afternoon of programs. I think when you go through a traumatic experience, an emotional experience like World War II, or remembering it, or, or feeling the, the tug and the pull and the agony that goes through an experience like that, maybe the programs that we've got coming right away with Les Brown and, and fulfilling human potential are a very good antidote uh, to that. So coming right up, we can move on to that. And then later this afternoon, fit or fat? Now, I don't like to talk about that because <laughs> we'd all like to be fit and not fat. But that's coming up later this afternoon. Wonderful programs all afternoon long. And tonight, of course, Anne of Green Gables. And so if you'd call and make your pledges for us, we'd appreciate it so very much. The phones are, uh, well, some of the phones are ringing. And if we can get some of those pledges in, it'll be a very big thing. And we would appreciate it so much. 
One pledge is all that we have coming in so far, but Diane is standing by. And Diane, you have some gifts for the people who call in their pledges. Well, I certainly do, Jeff. Um, if you call in your pledges this, this afternoon, we do have some premiums that we'd like to offer to you as thank yous, just um, as our way of saying thank you for helping us out with the costs that we incur bringing you programs as we saw this afternoon and we'll be seeing all through the rest of the evening. If you pledge at the $60 level, we have our KYVE mug, which is uh, sort of a staple that we've had here. Hope, I hope that shows up. I don't know if it's showing up too well, but it's a pretty uh, midnight blue with the gold uh, lettering and edging. And that's for a $60 pledge. And quite a few people pledge. And each time they pledge um, over the years, ask for this. And they have sets of these in their homes and use them on a daily basis. We have a limited number. We've got um, only size small and size medium of our KYVE t-shirt. And this is a, a sort of a collector's item now because there aren't going to be any more of these. So if oh you would like these. My and goodness. <laughs> no more? No more. And on the back we have the big 47 that lets people know that you support KYVE TV channel 47. And these also are at the $60 pledge level. If you are wanting to pledge at a little higher level today, we have at the 250 level, we have our dinner for two at Gasparetti's. Or we have a beautiful coffee table style book called Washington by John Marshall. And this has wonderful pictures and it's a wonderful addition to anyone's library and uh, would be nice on a coffee table for guests to look at or just for anybody in your family to look at. And it tells all about our state and the glorious um, sights and sounds of the state. So if you would like to call in your pledge at the 250 level, you can request either the Washington book or dinner for two at Gasparetti's, which is always a wonderfully popular item. Jeff? Well, you know, Diane, we've got uh, some, some, a couple of pledges coming in, um, and uh, we, we think that maybe we could get a couple of more real quick ones before we go on to uh, Les Brown. When mm -hmm. first time I heard Les Brown was coming, I thought we were going to be dancing all afternoon, but this man <laughs> is doing for human potential, and it's great. Give us a call right now, won't you, with your pledge in remembrance of World War II and the program we've just brought you. We really would like to hear from you. We need to hear those pledges right now. This is a very important pledge drive for KYVE. Our state aid has been cut back the little amount that we had, but it's enough to put a terrible hold in where we're going. So we need your support and we need your help and we need it right now. We have 10 seconds to get a couple of more pledges in. If you would just go to that phone, make that call, help us have the amount of money necessary to continue programming like this on your own public television station. That's what it's all about. Now we got just a little bit. We got five seconds to get another call in. We've got three pledges. There comes a fourth one. Maybe we're going to get some money right now. Let's go to Les Brown and see if he can get us excited about life right now. <laughs> 